Today's coverage brought to you by EA Sports and the PGA Tour. Today it's live opening round coverage of the Career Builder Challenge. Let's get back to the action at the fifth. Early in the round and playing reasonably well. Nothing great, but has certainly not given a whole lot away. Yeah, and actually a good, good position to really springboard the round from here. That's in the fairway. Good lie in the fairway. Had a good chance to make something happen here. Frank, what's the first thing a professional golfer does when he gets up in the morning? Put the sunblock on. <laughs> you check the weather, right? Yeah, on a day like today, though, it is absolutely beautiful out there. Into the tall cabbage, that ball is swallowed up. And setting up here in the rough. Well, that's what the great ones do from the rough. They use their skill and their strength to get it out and get it close. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. Suddenly a ray of sunshine with that birdie. And there is hope. And on the top 25. Frank, a long par three here at the sixth, 255 yards. Club selection, obviously, is crucial. Yeah, and length is, uh, is very important here. Something that, that can fly high and land soft is obviously going to make that green play a little bit bigger. If you get a breeze off to right or left to right into, this hole becomes very challenging. On the green, and looking at a birdie opportunity. Frank going for another birdie here. Just to get on a real roll. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, he couldn't hit that much better. Frank, that's a par, and onward we go. We're at the seventh now, 346 yards, with plenty of water on that right side. How do you handle this one, Frank? You've got to pick a target there. A lot of people think when they're laying up off the tee, and that's exactly what this hole is, you just blaze away at something down the left side. But if you're going to pick a tree, you just pick the tree. Pick a branch or a leaf. Be more specific. That is tasty looking right there, Frank. Just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a lie like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. Now the second shot, a short one here at the par 4 seventh. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Really good distance control there, playing well to his strengths. Shouldn't be a problem here. Well, after that, Birdie has to be feeling as though they're not out of it just yet. They're not far away from the first page of the leaderboard. A couple more birdies. Now the second par five on this opening nine here at PGA West. Frank, what are we looking at? The bunker down the right side gives you that optical illusion because it sort of has that curvy edge to it, plus it sort of mean, moves its way to that right side. And then you notice there's a bunker on the left that sneaks in on the left side. So this isn't just sort of blaze away off the tee. It still requires a good straight tee shot. Um, if you do air a little bit, then you've got to be very cognizant of the bunkers up on the left side as you get closer to the green. Okay, the second shot now at this par five. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. 
No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good look at Purdy. Getting set now over the putt. Good birdie right there, moving to third place on the leaderboard. Frank, the par four ninth at 452 yards is all you want. You could make five here every day just by poking it down the left side, but who wants to do that? Force your uh, hand, try and go down the right side. You might make the odd three, make a few more fours, but miss it on the right, and that's where you start to make a big number. And that sets up well for a chance at the green here at the ninth. Player really needs to be dialed in here. This approach shot is not easy by any stretch here at the ninth. Yeah. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. And you couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. So a tester from four feet. No damage done, made the par. That was a great first day out there, Rich. I really enjoyed it. We saw a lot of birdies, excellent play, and some impressive names on top of this leaderboard. Anybody's game. This is EA Sports, EGA Tour coverage coming up next. It's second round coverage of the Career Builder Challenge. Well, here we are at the fifth hole, a 535 yard par five for the long hitting professionals. Frank, certainly not a long test. What is the challenge here on this hole? It's another example of great design by Pete Dye. He'll give you the trouble on the left on the tee shot, and then he moves the trouble to the right on the second shot. It's gonna get you one way or the other. And now the second shot here at this par five. Still with a good chance to make birdie here, the conventional way on in three, make the one putt. What's this uh, third shot look like, Frank? There's just a little bit of a faint ridge that comes through the middle of the screen. Once again, with a wedge in hand, you're trying to land the ball the right distance. People obviously, they normally, they know where the flag is, but it's more about distance control with the second shot. That's gonna take the water out of play. Nice approach shot, he'll be happy with that. Settles in over the putt. Good stroke, just came up empty. Even par, currently. Well, too bad, he gives one back. What a hole this is. 255 yards, par three, water everywhere you look. This is a real test. Yeah, it's called Amen, and whatever religion that uh, you subscribe to, uh, you better say a prayer before this one. Frank, sadly, I've been there too often in the water. You get down on yourself. What's the right way to approach this mentally? 
Well, you've almost got to take a step backwards, Rich. Um, you, you, this can add up so, so quickly. So give yourself a little pat on the back, say it's fine. I mean, you, you're, not, you, 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 you're human. You're allowed to hit bad shots. But the big thing now is to avoid two in a row. So this will be the third shot after taking the drop with the ball going in the water. Here's to be what they call a commercial play, very solid. And it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? It's that sneaky distance. Oh, I thought he had that. Well, once you hit double to par, it's time to just pick up and move on. Frank, this is like a big water park here at PGA West. We saw it at the sixth, and here again at the seventh, a challenging par for 346 yards. I've never, ever seen anyone try and drive this green, so it's just a layup. You see the bunker down there in the distance that really is the stop sign. So something that's short of that, but really what I prefer is try and lay up on a nice number, something that you've got a full shot in, whether that be a nine iron or an eight iron or a wedge. You'd like to have a full club in here. That was terrible. Comfortably inside the cut line, the young prodigy makes another birdie. Well, Frank here at the par 5-8, 559 yards. Looks as though the player's getting a break from the water, but there is some trouble out there. Yeah, there certainly is bunkering both on the left and the right. Once again, though, par 5s are always an opportunity for the longer hitter. Even if you stray a little off, uh, a little off line, then it just becomes a three-shotter like it is for everybody else. Always makes the hole easier, playing it from the fairway. Playing his second shot here at the par five. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Now the approach shot here on this par 5 eighth. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. This for another birdie on this hole on the week. Well, that'll put the small back on the face. Frank, the ninth hole, a par four measuring 452 yards. This is no picnic. This is the, the toughest tee shot on the front side. Uh, the easy way to bail out down the left side, it might appear that way off the tee, but then it becomes a zigzag hole where it's very easy to clock up something like a six. Uh, the bunker down that right side, just 300 yards to get past that, but, but it's almost like he gives you an option there. If you do want to challenge that right side, the bunker just might save you from going in the water, but uh, there's no question. The best driver is down the right, but it's the most dangerous one. Should be safely on deck. Good clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for birdie coming up. Well, he's going for back-to-back -back birdies here, trying to jumpstart this round. 